Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kicker and Kingdom, where we're finally going to be returning to the Holiday Express event because I haven't played it in a few days. I don't think. I think. Oh wait, have I? I played it yesterday. The heck am I talking about? Well, whatever. What I'm more excited about is that we're actually going to be starting on Chapter Three. But as far as I know, yeah, it's starting with inter interrogations. Now I don't know. Wait, let me just check. Uh, how many? Okay, there's sir, there's seven. So I might do like the first three or the first four. I guess it depends on how long the first interrogations are gonna take me. If it's if it's entirely interrogations, then honestly, I think I just might do like the first ones that I see. I hope the whole chapter list is not just interrogations V until like interrogations X. What, 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 okay, V, and then would it X? It would be X I I or X I. Basically, it's just room and room for like 10 or 11 or 12, but whatever. Anyway, with that being said, I'm just going to be starting on the interrogations today, see how far I can get, and yeah, with that also being said, I'm going to be trying to read comments from the video, uh, Kiki Odyssey Missions and More, which, honestly, I almost named that video Don't Mind Me Just Doing Odyssey Missions. <laughs> I thought it'd be funny at the time, but I thought that, uh, the title that we have now would just be a little bit more straightforward. So, uh, if you want to leave your questions and comments down in the comment section below for me to read on the video, then feel free to do so. It could be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, something about me, something about the game, something entirely different. Doesn't really matter, because as long as we're having a fun time at the end of the day, and we and we appreciate being around each other from community to creator and creator to community, that's what matters the most. And also, speaking of which, Chapter 2, I can claim 900 Rainbow Cubes and 650 Crystals. Pretty good, and also 50 of those, I'll take those, nice. Alright, so, before we get started, I will read, like, a few quick comments real quick. Like, there's two I think I read from Sonic, uh, comments, don't glitch on me now. Uh, there's two comments from Sonic Gamer, I'll quickly read. One saying, here's a headcanon I have. I honestly think it's adorable, Dark and Chandra's Cookie has motherly feelings towards supporting the Mushroom Cookie. I mean, have you seen the, uh, what was it, the title screen for when the, uh, Episode 9 and 10 update came out? Like, Dark and Chandra was clearly petting Poison Mushroom. It, it was just right there. It's adorable. And the other comment says, Finally making some more progress in Master Mode, which is important if you want to progress in Chapter 3 of Kiki Odyssey. Huh. That's kind of worrying to think about. Man, I at least got to get through Chapter 1 and 2, but I'm having no time because I got to get through this train investigation. Anyway, first time starts now. Uh, deduction minigame? Sounds about right. Interrogation 5. Uh, and the show goes on. Next cookie, please. Old Jolly Case, Record 5. Sparkling Cookie brought in for questioning. Alibi, worked at the bar of the dining car. Confirmed by Chef Cookie. Who, who is Chef Cookie? Like, can, can, can we get a, can we get like an alibi in that? I've never heard of Chef Cookie in, in this game once. Okay. Okay, uh, I do a sparkling voice, just gotta do this. I was in the dining car, I ate dessert, then practiced mixing new drinks for the holiday party. We all played cards. Others love to see the ceremony, while I remain to make drinks. New evidence. Sparkling Cookie's statement. At the time of the incident, you were busy making beverages for the tree lighting ceremony, correct? Yes, I was. It was getting late, and the passengers seemed rather weary. Chef Cookie and I decided to provide a round of refreshments. Speaking of refreshments, I'm literally drinking some drink right now. I'll give you a hint. It's water. That's true. I can attest to that. I even learned a couple of handy tricks from Sparkling Cookie last night. Well, I'm glad that you finally decided to show up. Where's your son? Now I'm suspicious of you. I haven't seen you until right now. At least I don't remember seeing you at any point in time before. What could be Sparkling Cookie's motive? Uh, anything suspic suspicious about this cookie? Uh, it has to be... Okay. Anything suspicious. Alright, he's in the dining car after supper, after dessert, he practiced mixing drinks, played card games with other cookies, he was mixing juice for cookies in the dining car even after the ceremony had ended, and an expert juice maker cookie, he offered refreshments to the passengers. Okay, so he offered refreshments. So, hmm. First, the first thing that comes to my mind is Vampire Cookie, because you drink a lot. True, the Vampire Cookie wanted the juice, but he did not steal it. He paid Old Jolly with coins for a taste. He paid, wait. Oh yeah, so they were sitting with Old Jolly and the juice. Didn't they want not want to drink? Uh, Old Jolly refused to drink it, but the juice was delicious. Okay, it's true. Vampire Cookie wanted the juice, but he did not see what he paid Old Jolly for coins with the taste. But uh, I guess that because it, it's in regards to Old Jolly. I don't know. There's got to be another bit of evidence that's backed up by it. Uh, drank juice prepared by Sparkling Cookie. 
but it just sounds like average sparkling hippie nature. Uh, writing carols, coming up with a poem after she played cards with vamp uh, uh, vampire kicking it. Felt bad after witnessing creme brulee kicking an old jolly arguing. Uh, writing a poem, okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure. After supper, she wait. Wait, the Kiki loves music. Got that. After supper, she saw Sparkling Kiki dejected from Old Jolly, refused, re 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 refusing his sparkling juice. And I do have to select two. It would probably deflect. De or I'm sorry, I was gonna say deflecting. Dejected. Would it be those two? I'm. I'm. This one, I'm kind of confident on. This one, I think I've. Because obviously, it's referring to Old Jolly and you know the sparkling juice and sparkling cookie. It is okay. That's fantastic. Hook me up with the plumbing answers, please. A witness claimed that you look saddened after Old Jolly refused to have your beverage. Why? Honestly? Oh, that's, uh, that would be, uh, def- I- Because what did I say? Def Hold on, can, can I read that again? Like, at least in regards to the evidence, because I- Wait, okay. Oh, that's nice. I can go back and read. Uh, it was Carol. Dejected. I, was, I don't know. When I, when, I, when I heard the word dejected, I don't immediately go to think like, oh, uh, they feel bad. I- Well- Yes, I was. But only briefly. Besides, soon, Old Jolly let me in on a secret. They told me they left so abruptly because they had to prepare gifts for the passengers. I, I guess that's technically right. I mean, they do have to prepare gifts, but uh, I guess it's always playing ahead, but eh. Sparkling Cookie knew that Old Jolly planned to visit every passenger's suite and deliver gifts. Hmm. Was there anything else of note? I'm, I'm swigging this water. Um, oh, I did see Royal Bear Jelly, the conductor, pushing the room service cart to the kitchen and leaving shortly after. So they shipped the drinks or something? Do you remember the time? Was it during the tree lighting ceremony? Yes, there was a, a, a little interlude. I would say the time was half past 12. So it was past 12, so that means the time would at least be 0030, military time. All right, updated evidence, sparkling cookie statement. Huh. I see. Next cook. Oh. oh, wait, what? Yes, yes, I'm here, but make it quick. This is gonna be real fun. Old Jolly Case, Record 6. Schwartz Walder. Alibi, unknown. Confirmed by, unknown. Honestly, they probably just slept the whole time. If no one can remember where this plub was, I don't know. If we're moving on to another plub to, like, read stuff off of, I'd rather read some comments before I go ahead and continue on with this, because, uh, there's probably going to be a lot more investigation work going on. So, let's just read the whole list of comments I saw from AGamers360, at least the majority of them. One saying, new update teaser drops, there's a detective event, Walnut Kiki doesn't get released. I mean, to be fair, we're having the Kingdom brand version of all of Walnut being macaroni. But then we just have another detective being Cheddar She, so we're the Plebs Almond in all this. Don't know what's up with that. Another comment from A Gamer says, I have nothing else to do in Kingdom but to wait. While I'm kicking around on break, I have to at least get third in Grand Champions League, but not to lose two to a herd. Wait, but to not lose a herd. Oh, you mean to not lose a head doing the event, getting high enough trophies in Champions League? I still gotta play through the normal Champions League. I keep forgetting to do that. A other comment says, Ah, so Ice Yeti is gooey. I get it. Huh. That's weird. <laughs> well, I, mean, I guess technically, if you just the sl no slush isn't gooey. What am I saying? The last comment I read says, "Common question: Well, a standard bedroom, a non-flashy gaming room, and a standard cinema surround sound room. That sounds pretty fun. I would love a room like that." Go ahead, ask. Huh? No need. We know your alibi. You were signing a card in your suite, a card for a poison mushroom cookie. Correct? Oh, really? That that that's actually really sweet. What? How did you? Well, given your undeniably. Ah, noteworthy reputation. You were constantly under our scrutiny since the moment you stepped on board. It is absolutely positive you did not leave your room last night. I mean, to be fair, you, you're you kind of a wanted criminal, technically. Huh. Huh. I wonder what comes next. <laughs> I am that infamous, all right? You little detectives have done your homework. <laughs> It is our job, after all. Next! What? Is that it? Ask me something else! Validate me! <laughs> New evidence, uh, Schwarzwalder's statement. <laughs> Man, the train's really getting loud out there. Uh, is, is that it? It's, it's just connect. <laughs> the game can't handle, uh, Chuck and Warehound Brute just raging off like that. I swear if it tells me, like, oh, uh, something's going on, yeah, yeah. Just load the next cutscene, dude. What do you mean? 
If Schwarzwalder was in his suit, I need to check something. Uh, what could confirm that Schwarzwalder was indeed in his suit? Uh, okay. Schwarzwalder, passenger, his infamous reputation precedes him. Wrote a holiday card after supper. This card was addressed with Hoy's mushroom kicky. Detectives kept a close eye on him as he's well-known villain. Uh, detectives checked if he never left his suit, and he never did. Well, I mean, wouldn't it be that? I mean, we can go through the other stuff just in case. Also, I'm pretty sure in other stuff, there's actually, like, repeated question marks. I don't know if I can see any sort of example. Uh, like for crim yeah, there's, like, a question mark right there. And uh, so I'm pretty sure maybe there's some more information that gets uncovered later. Uh, he was mixing juice for cooking the dining car even after Santa Moon engine. Halfway through the ceremony, he rode ro uh, Royal Bear Jelly, push a cart towards the dining car. Huh. How... Does it... I mean, that, that was... I'm sure... Hmm. Halfway through the ceremony, he heard Royal Bear Jelly push a cart towards the dining car. I'm interested. Wait, actually, wait. No, but these would still be, like, that's before 20. Uh, and not like, uh, you know, 20 minutes, but like 10. I want to, but that's weird. Halfway through the ceremony, here in Royal Bear Jelly push a car. I didn't read that before. I wonder, since that got uncovered, that would be the new hint. But how would that prove it? Hmm. I... He could... Can I get a, uh... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, after the ceremony, he turned Royal Bear Jelly push a cart towards the dining car. Uh, do we know where the dining car is? Okay, uh... Suit number... Suit... That's near suite number eight. And, uh... Creme Relay would have been near... I guess somewhere. Hmm. I'm in, I'm in a pickle. <laughs> this wants to be validated, but like, huh? I'm sorry if I'm stuck on this for so long. I know I'm an average idiot. We're already 12 minutes in. I gotta read a common question of the day, so I gotta figure this out fast. I guess I can wing it. Wait, wait. What do you push something? What do you push something? Uh. Kept a close eye on him. He's a well-known villain. He probably pushed it. What if he did? I'm looking it. How? How? I'm actually curious. I, I, I need... Now, the game has to tell me how. Please tell me. Very well. Did you, by any chance, hear Royal Bear Jelly pushing the room service cart through the hallway? Huh? The cart? I guess I did. Wait. That has nothing to do with me! Speaking of, we also heard the sound. It was headed towards the dining car. Hmm. Sparkling Cookie, Schwarzwalder, and the detective stories align as well. Okay, Schwarzwalder statement. And that's that. I'm I don't even know how that makes sense. I mean, if there's pro I, I'm an idiot, and I'm probably just getting through this by blind luck, but I... We're already 12 minutes into this, so I gotta, like, try and answer these faster. So, before we actually move on, I will try and read a comment question of the day real quick before I actually read a couple more comments, which, uh... You know, let's, uh... And I'm also... I'm getting a burst for some reason, even though I barely ate anything today. Great. You know, how about this? Let's say you wanted to make your own customized holiday update for Cookie Run Kingdom. How would you make it? Like, for example, you have full control, you have full power, you have whole creativity just to make this a holiday update. How would you make it? Like, for example, what new story would you implement? What new cookies would you want to be released in the game? Either cookies that already exist, but just they're in a different game like Oven Break, or you want to make an entirely new cookie. Like, how would their backstories go? Or even what type of new story would you want to be released into the game? And also, what new costumes are made Maybe what cookie would you want to buff because you could actually be very creative like you could be very creative when it comes to this and honestly i hope you are because honestly i feel like people weren't too happy with the isaac yeti update and i'm not sure how many people feel about this update so far because i don't really look at the public feedbacks and when it immediately comes out but whatever be sure to tell me tell me down in the comment section below but before i move on i will read a comment from flower saying at 10:36, i totally decorate it with pokemon kicker and kingdom vocaloid pokemon creepypasta and fnaf merch those are most if not all my favorite fandoms i like how it's pokemon and pokemon creepypasta those are separate fandoms apparently 
I don't know why, I just find that funny. And also quickly, we'll read, a, we'll read a comment from Arianne Funhouse saying, looks like we're gonna have to solve a mystery on the Holiday Express coming up. Sounds about right, we're gonna try and do that. Oh, okay, we're just watching the scene. Oh, we're just watching a scene this time, finally. It's a normal scene. Looks like Schwarzfelder was the last one to question. Uh, not so fast, Lenzer Cookie. It's your turn. No exceptions. You're a passenger too. I had a feeling this was gonna happen. <laughs> yes, of course. Old Jolly Case, record seven. Linzer Cookie, alibi, was in her room. Confirmed by none. Your story depicts one of the most elaborate mysteries. Naturally, you're under our greatest suspicion. Unless someone confirms your alibi, that is. Maybe creme brulee? Because they kind of had a one-to-one. -one. Yes, I was in my room writing. No one saw me. And yet, my alibi can be confirmed by my pen. True, that's actually true. Your pen? Yes, my trusty pen that happens to be a portative recorder. Quite handy when you travel around gathering material from manuscripts. Oh, but this won't do. What if you made the record in advance to throw us off track? Yeah, but you see, this pen has a special feature called anti-record in advance to throw us off the track, uh, mem memorative state, which means it literally can't do what you just said. It's a possibility, but please do listen to the following part. It's past midnight. Everyone is at the tree lighting ceremony. Earlier today, I noticed numerous gift boxes under the tree itself. But I suspect those are mere decorations. Uh, if uh, I, I, I know a lot of decorative like things that like just do that. Where like, oh, you have the big Christmas tree, but you have a lot of gift, like gift boxes under them and presents and gifts. But I guarantee you, they're just cardboard, just wrapped in wrapping paper. Imagine if they were. Imagine if they actually had stuff. That that would be a big dream. When I was a kid, I was I always wanted to rip those open, but I thought it'd be disrespectful. Nah, this doesn't tell us anything. N now. Hold up! That noise in the background and the mumbling. Schwarzwalder! Am I hearing that right? It's hard to hear, but you could kind of hear like. Precisely. Schwarzwalder's creative process was caught on the record. He kept tapping his feet, reading the text, and banging on the desk. Dear Poison Mushroom Cookie, our little mushroom, true me even, I wish you and the spores a very toxic... Ah, crumbs! This is stupid! Hmm. Yes, I recall hearing that last night. Will this be enough to dispel your suspicions, detectives? I suppose the recording confirms your alibi. I am certain Linza Cookie's talents will be instrumental in our investigation, Macaroni Cookie. Does this mean you didn't suspect me, Cheddar Cheese Cookie? Oh, I have met and seen many, many cookies in my practice. Your acute intellect revealed our identities. I doubt you would have gone that far knowing there are detectives riding the very same train. Should you be the villain? You would have pretended to assist the investigation, while in reality, doing everything to prevent us from bringing you to justice. And I do not really see that in you. Exactly the conclusion a seasoned detective would reach. But Detective Cheddar Cheese, why didn't you say earlier? Well, this was the earliest occasion. Now that the initial questioning has concluded, who do you think is the villain? I think I do have a suspect in mind. I have my theory as well. And yet, there is but one more figure left on board. It would have to be, uh, the Bear Jelly Train Man, right? Oh, of course! None other than... Evidence update, Linzer Kiki's pen. Another suspect. Okay, so there is another suspect that we're gonna have to go through. So before that happens, we'll, we'll probably do that. I mean, we're already plumbing like 19 minutes into this video. So I gotta read some comments. We'll do that. Then we'll read the rest of the comments that I see available. Then we'll end the video. So quickly, uh, an idiot, I'm pretty sure, left a few comments. One saying, love your content. Thank you very much. Love you commenting on it. Another comment you left is, I like someone like the sea loves the moon, but I like the sea. I'm too shy to ask if they feel the same. 
Well, just be bold about it and ask. If it doesn't work out for you, then hey, it's completely fine because there's a, just like the sea, there's plenty of other fish who swim in it. So it's completely fine. And the last comment I'll read from you says, Common question, outside I want to look like an extremely sophisticated and nice simple well. Inside is going to be full of space themed. I'm talking about moon lampshades, star shaped lights, and all glasses like the Milky Ways. That sounds like my ideal house. I gotta be honest, I would love that. And lastly, I will read a comment from Undercover Elixir saying, Use time jumpers to do the trials in those red islands, though. Uh, time jumpers are easy to get if you do the train things. Train and blimp. Yeah, I have over a thousand time jumpers, so I'm pretty much set on that. Alright, one more. Another suspect. And there is another deduction minigame. How may I be of service? Ah, thank you for coming in on such short notice. Now, everyone on this train must be interrogated. That is, including the crew. Please, begin. Old Jolly Case, Record 8. Royal Bear Jelly, Alibi, was operating the tree illumination from the electrical room. Confirmed by none. Oh, boy. I hope this doesn't turn out. Imagine, like, this is the cr true criminal. All right. I was busy preparing for the tree lighting ceremony after supper. I was in the electrical room the whole time. Uh, in the electrical room the whole time. Uh, no, that, wait. Because he moved the cart, right? Did he or is that someone else? Am I correct to assume there is no other place whatsoever the light on the tree could be turned on from? Correct, detective. Were it a simple holiday tree, I would have just turned it on. But our special tree required more uh, precise control. Is that so? I thought all you have to do is plug the twinkle lights in. Well, maybe there's a button. Oh, no, 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 no. Like I said, it was not some simple light show. It was the piece de resistance of the Holiday Express. None of the cookies present at the ceremony noticed anything unusual. Which means Royal Bear Jelly was working in the electrical room the entire time. Evidence updated Royal Bear Jelly's statement. What is something that stands out about Royal Bear Jelly? Uh, what is a contradictory statement made by Royal Bear Jelly in the evidence to prove it? Huh, was it a uh, here? Detectives, uh, he heard someone push a cart toward the dining car. That's the new bit of information. Uh, if I go halfway through the ceremony, he heard Royal Bear Jelly push a cart towards the dining car. Was this the one? Or was it like, am I hallucinating? No, I think, wasn't this, because like, it literally said, he heard Royal Bear Jelly push a cart towards the dining car. How could you do that if you were in the electrical room? He stayed in the electrical room the whole time preparing for the tree lighting ceremony. And like, Cookie's attending ceremony didn't notice anything out of the ordinary. Lights on the tree required expert control. And this, uh, that, uh, like, it just stayed zero to one, and this all went all the way to one. Yeah, th that makes sense. And during the on trot, you brought the room service cart to the kitchen. That right? Yes, detective. You see, I brought the cart from the kitchen to the electrical room to have a snack during the ceremony. And like you said, I used the short break to take it back. I suppose this caused the noise you heard. The on track lasted for only 10 minutes. Crimes are not committed in such a short time window. Not unless you're fast with it. And, uh, if I may... Go on. Uh, I am sure it was nothing. Oh, he's leaving stuff out. He's panicking. Did you see anything unusual? If you have any further information pertinent to the investigation, by all means, let us know. I... <coughs> well, that is to say, I... I think I saw creme brulee cookie right before the ceremony. Walking right into Old Jolly's suite. Well, then that's when creme brulee and Old Jolly would be, like, arguing with each other. And creme brulee's like, hey, where's my, uh... My, where's my sheet music? And old Jolly's like, I don't know. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Why did I have to play at such a beautiful time? I swear someone just messaged me on freaking WhatsApp. And I didn't expect that to happen. I swear everyone's shocked by it. But, you see, I... I assume the maestro went in to talk. Oh dear. I should have known. Hmm. But according to Creme Brulee Cookie... He was at the banquet car. It would seem to me that someone is in for more questions. Evidence updated Royal Bear Jolly's statement. So as of right now, Creme Brulee Cookie's kind of backed up in the corner because 
if Royal Bear Jelly basically said, hey, last time I saw Royal Bear Jelly was in, uh, or I'm sorry, last time I saw Creme Relay Cookie was in Old Jolly's uh, chambers. That's kind of bad on him because uh, next time that we saw Old Jolly, he was kind of, you know. Uh, so with that being said, before I actually end off in this video, I will read a few more comments because there's a few more left, so why the plug not? Uh, Chris in 04 did love your comment saying, Common question, a one-story house, black roof, white walls, and white fence, and mostly a uh, petty, no, a pretty moderate theme, kind of my dream house. Also, did you know that you're like a Fanta on a stick? You're fantastic. Aww. You know what? Shout out to you. That one was actually really creative. And there's a few comments from both Mortal Wolf Gear and Smart, uh, Smart N2 Spiral. Or, smart, Smart N Spiral. One comment saying, Day 2 of my Spice Cookie Run OCs being Saturn Cookie, who is a selfish cookie who only cares for how they look. They don't care if others get hurt or anything because they're not him. So we have a big egotist. Understandable. And your other comment says, Common question, plants and probably more plants. So like a greenhouse, nice. And the comment from Smart and Sparrow says, two days until my birthday, I am kind of late, but I still hope you had an amazing birthday. Another comment you left is at 1024. Thinking about this, I was planning to make that house look luxury, be gold as a joke, and make the house look gingerbread and crispy. Hmm, a gold gingerbread house. That actually sounds like very decadent. Okay, someone's probably very much rapidly messaging me. I gotta check these out in a minute, but the last comment I read comes from Smart and Smart. I'm again saying, oh, creme brulee cookie. Beta design looks he is adventuring. Now his current design looks like a fancy cookie playing piano. I gotta check out his beta design, might be interesting. Uh, but with that being said, if you enjoy the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it, and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my kicker on content, and if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe, and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. Also, down in the description below, you will see links to all my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the kicker on new set for absolutely free, a link to my Discord server called the Hype Me's Hub, and a link to uh, my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel. But above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the Hype Knees.